Good morning, Phoenix High School. Welcome to our final episode of PHTV for the month of April. I'm Asher Ernesto. And I'm Yasmin Conchas. We have another full show of important announcements, so listen up. Hola, buenos días. Yo me llamo Yasmin Conchas, anunciando para PHTV hoy en día. A que seguir con los anuncios. We want to start off today's show by reminding all students who have signed up for AP testing that exams will begin in exactly one week. Our first AP test will be on Monday, May 1st. Prepare and study so you can rock the exam. If you have not pre-registered for your AP exam, please see Mr. Kukuk as soon as possible. Las pruebas de AP comenzarán el viernes primero de mayo. Ve al señor Kukuk si necesita registrarse. Be ready for Carnival Thursdays. The Relay for Life team will be having games, selling candy, or other yummy snacks as a fundraiser for our school team. You can still join the PHS Relay for Life team. We are meeting Tuesdays at lunch in Mrs. Green's room, so come and join the fun. Speaking of fun, Caitlin Hansen will be competing in the DECA International Competition in Sports Marketing this week in An Anaheim, California. Good luck in Anaheim, Caitlin. Wow, DECA is amazing. You can go to so many cool places. If you want to learn more about DECA, see Mr. Carvalho. Are you interested in running for ASB position for the 2017-2018 school year? The applications for President, Vice President, Treasurer, and Secretary are due Monday, April 24th. Please turn in your application to the front office today if you want to run for ASB positions next year. ¿Desea postularse para un puesto de en ASB? Hoy es el último día para entregar su solicitud. To all my future My Choice members, this week on Wednesday, April 26th, is your last lesson at TMS. Thank you for doing such a great job teaching this year. A big thank you to Justina Mosler, Brenda Seely, Jenny Hopkins, Mr. Rhodes, Mr. Akil, and all the the PHS teachers for your support this year. Ms. Pond in the Diploma Center is set up for students who are interested in earning a food handler's permit. The cost is $10 and you pay the front office and bring your receipt to Mrs. Pond in N105. Use the computer to do online training for the Oregon Food Handler's card. This card can help you gain employment in the food service industry. Talk to Mrs. Pond in N105 for more questions. La Señora Pond in the Career Center está lista para ayudarle a obtener su tarjeta de manejadores de alimentos. El costo es solo $10. Dólares. Also from Mrs. Pond, Mrs. Pond is in the credit retrieval room. We'll be opening up credit retrieval on Saturdays for students needing to get caught up before the end of this year. Mrs. Pond will be opening up credit retrieval from 9 a.m. to noon on the, the following Saturdays, April 29th, May 6th, and May 13th. Please sign up with Mrs. Pond if you are interested. Are you in need of medical assistance but are afraid it will cost too much? On Thursdays, La Clinica Medical Bus will be on campus to help any students who need it for free. See Mr. Akil in the attendance office to schedule an appointment with La Clinica for this Thursday or any Thursday you need medical attention. La Clinica estará aquí este jueves y todos los jueves. Hablen con el señor Akil para inscribirse. This Thursday, our theater, de our theater department will be opening the production of In the Heights. The show will, will run from Thursday, April 27th through, thir through next weekend with shows on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Also, due to circumstances beyond theater's control, the April 29th performance of In the Heights has been changed. We will not have an evening performance on April 29th, but instead we'll have a 1 p.m. matinee. Please note this difference in this upcoming segment. To give you a preview of what you could be enjoying by going to see the show, I made a segment. Let's roll it. Lights up on Washington Heights up at the break of day. I wake up and I got this little punk I gotta chase away. In the Heights, I find my coffee and I go. I find my coffee and in the Heights, I turn on the TV. In the Heights, I find my coffee. This musical is different compared to other musicals because of the music in it. A lot of the music is upbeat. We got reggaeton, rap, salsa, and then your typical Broadway music. It's just about family, love, loss, and all the things that you would experience in an everyday neighborhood. Just kind of shedding some light on some people that need some love, you know? So this show is really about a different community, and I think it would um, a lot of people should see it to kind of understand more about the Latin community. Within the show, there's no stereotypical Latino characters, which I think is important considering the negative narrative the Latino community has been given in the past and present media. I think the show celebrates Latino culture in a way I have never seen before. It's a show that just happens to have Latino characters, but everyone can relate to them. 
theater is about telling stories and I strongly feel that this isn't just a story about some Latinos in New York City's Washington Heights, but it's my story and I can't wait to share it with those of you who come see the show. Everyone be sure to check out the show this spring, starting with opening night, this Thursday. Nuestro Departamento de Drama abrirá el musical In the Heights este jueves. El espectáculo se extenderá hasta el próximo fin de semana. Ven a ver el espectáculo. The theater department will have a special offer just for PHS students. Two tickets for the price of one on opening night only. No reason to miss out on this production of In the Heights. Two weeks ago, the Symphonic Band traveled to Klamath Falls to participate in the Basin Band Festival. The band performed extremely well and received very high scores and complimentary remarks for all three judges. They also took first place in 4A division. Great job, Symphonic Band. Felicite a nuestra banda sinfónica que viajó a Klamath Falls para competir en el Festival de la Banda. Tomaron el primer lugar en la División 4A. Mrs. Pond will be said, selling water bottles for 75 cents to raise money for our Sparrow Fabby. Mrs. Pond is located in the Diploma Center room N105. Come during break, after school, or passing periods, and occasionally during lunch. Just plan accordingly so you are not tardy to your class. Help out our Sparrow Fabby any way you can. A donation box is located outside the front office as well to donate. Check with your advisor to see how you can help our amazing Sparrow Fabby. Consulte con su asesor para ver cómo puede ayudar o apoyar a nuestro gorrión Fabi. Speaking of helping others, Casa McKeel is in the beginning stages of his senior project, which he will implement in the summer in the countries of Lebanon and Egypt. The theme is soccer for Syrians. He's collecting boys and girls soccer materials, clothes, any sorts of shoes, cleats, and other clothing items. He will take your donations to the Syrian refugees living in extreme poverty in Lebanon. He will also be taking soccer balls and clothes for the boys' orphanage in Egypt where he lived last year and played soccer with the boys. There is a box facing the attendance window where you can bring your donated items during March, April, and May. Your small acts of kindness will bring a smile to the faces of those who suffer greatly. Please help Qasim with his senior project and donate to Soccer for Syrians. Qasim Akil estará recaudando dinero y recogiendo equipo de fútbol para su proyecto Soccer for Syrians. Este es su proyecto principal. Usted puede donar artículos en la caja fuera de la ventana de la oficina principal. Attention former eCare students who have expiring first aid and CPR cards. Those of you who took emergency care two years ago now have an expired card or one that is about to expire. If you're interested in staying current in your certification, Mrs. Campbell will be having a renewal course just for you after school on Wednesday, May 17th. Please see Mrs. Campbell for more details and sign up. Tomorrow evening, the Future Planning Center will be hosting College Night for Juniors, which is an informational evening for students and parents for, of current juniors to prepare for the college admissions process. This event will be held in the PHS Commons beginning at 6 p.m. After presentations in English and Spanish, the Library Computer Lab will be available for students to register for SAT and ACT. Please see Ms. House with any questions. Just as a further reminder, PHTV's own Katie Baker and Randy Mick made a segment, just so you don't forget. Si está interesado en asistir a la noche de universidades para juniors, de mañana por la noche, echa un vistazo a este video. College Night for Juniors. Tuesday, April 25th. At 6 p.m. Held in the PHS Commons. After presentations, students can register for the ACT or the SAT. Please come by during College Night Juniors. We really hope all juniors can attend Junior College Night. All right, this next announcement applies to all our students, so listen up. PHS has instituted a new attendance policy for all tardy students. All students who are tardy, either excused or unexcused, will now be checking in with Mr. Akil at the attendance window. Mr. Akil will be assigning students either a green pass for an excused tardy or a pink pass for an unexcused tardy. Teachers, you will still need to mark pink slip students tardy to confirm they have made it back to class. Teachers, if a student shows up tardy without a green or pink pass, please send them back to Mr. Akil. All students will now be checking in with Mr. Akil if tardy. Even if you have a pass from a teacher, take that pass to Mr. Akil and he will excuse you. The Alexandra Hanscom Memorial Scholarship is now available in the Future Planning Center. 
any graduating three-sport female senior of Phoenix High School who has participated in three OSAA sports, may, may have participated in two sports in one of the four years, will be eligible for the scholarship. The scholarship is worth $1,500. The deadline for completion of the scholarship is May 19th. If you have any questions about the scholarship, please see Lana Engel or Michelle House in the Future Planning Center. On Monday, May 8th, during advisory, Phoenix High School will be hosting a pop-up makerspace event in the library. This event is to introduce students to concepts of engineering, technology, and design. If you want to participate in this event during advisory on May 8th, you need to sign up with Mrs. Seeley in the library. This past week, our speech and debate team competed at the Oregon State Championships for speech and debate. The team did a great job representing, and I was able to advance to semifinals. Great season to all speech and debate participants. On Friday, May 12th at 4 p.m. after school, Phoenix High School's Farm to School program will be throwing their annual garden party. Come by and check out the school garden and greenhouse. Learn about all the work the class has been doing this whole year. They will also be selling vegetables and herbs that the class grew themselves. Be sure to check out the garden party Friday, May 12th after school. If you're interested in joining the garden club, there will be a meeting on Thursdays after school. See Mr. Janicek or Mrs. Green for more details. It sure sounds like spring is in the air. Speaking of spring, we have spring sports scores to report. In baseball action, our Pirates baseball team defeated the Mazama Vikings in two out of three games last week. Great job, Pirate baseball. PHTV's own Corey Romig and Dario De Los Santos created a segment to promote the team. Let's check it out. Phoenix Pirates baseball. Upcoming home games. All remaining games are at Culver Park. April 25th and 28th versus Henley High School. May 2nd and 5th versus Hidden Valley High School. May 11th versus Klamath Union. Come support the team. Good luck, baseball team. Be sure to come out and support the baseball team in the next few weeks. Speaking of baseball, Mr. Carvalho's sports marketing contest is in full swing, and with only one week left, the total number of runs for both softball and baseball combined is 121. Check back next week to see if you guessed the correct number. In softball action, our Pirates softball team fell to Mazama in all three games this past week. This week, they will host home games at Culver Field on Tuesday and Friday against Henley starting at 4 p.m. Be sure to come check out and support our Pirates softball team this week. This week, our track and field teams will be competing right here at Jack Woodward Stadium on Wednesday the 26th. Be sure to make your way out after school to cheer on the track and field athletes in their only home meet of the season. Good luck to all the track and field athletes this Wednesday. In girls golf action, the girls golf team went to Klamath Falls on Tuesday and won the match. Marcella Alvarado Powers was first place and Willa Taos was second. Good job girls. The girls will be hosting their own tournament on Tuesday at Stone Ridge. Come on out and check out, come on out and support our girls golfers this week. In boys golf action, at Bandon Crossings this last week, Matt Sauerman and Mateo Lopez had their best scores in a tournament, which were 109 and 114 respectively. Camden Chose was fourth place overall with a score of 79. This week, the boys' golf team will be hosting a tournament at Centennial Golf Club here in Medford. We would love for people to come out and show their support for our golfers. All right, that wraps up our show for today. All that's left is trivia. Last week's trivia question was, which teacher can you talk about participating in the Big Bear Creek cleanup and helping our Sparrow Fabi at the same time? The winner is... Zoe Martinez. Congrats! You said Mr. Shunk, Mr. Gullo, or Mrs. Green. See Mr. Rhodes to pick up your Dutch Bros gift card. This week's trivia question is, when will Mrs. Campbell be offering the renewal test for any students with an expired first aid or CPR card? Please write your answer on a piece of paper along with your name and advisor's name and place it on the envelope on Mr. Rhodes' door. Be sure and check out our online platform, phcbnews.com. And as always, stick around for the pledge. This has been your school your people, and, and your, your news. news.